Hello. Uh, that's okay. So, hello everyone. Today is like in the title. I'm gonna make a um, tr mode translation system that I can use in other mods that I made probably because I don't know if I will make it public because that's kind of um, tricky to do, not really stable. So I think it will stay for my mods. But if someone, another mother who really want to translate a uh, mod, that he can do, I can send it to him, but um, it won't be updated technically. So I don't know. Uh, but not everyone is using some custom uh, interface uh, on their mod, so doesn't really make sense. Uh, so uh, what I need to do is first this is uh, yes there is my Simpson Island one map but not for today I will make it uh, a bit more on it uh, next stream uh, so if I go to scenes I will take my main scene that's perfect a, cl a clean uh, clean uh, scene with in nothing on it so what I'm gonna do is take some of my mods back here. I will go on my uh, assets. I mean the assets. So when I go here and some tools, I will create my script here. I think because uh, oh no, not maybe. Maybe I will create it in uh, here. That's fine. So I create a new technical mod, but it's not really a mod. It's more like a fake mod, but a script test. Ah, there is already script test. Uh, then uh, translation system, maybe. When I go, perfect. Then I need to add it. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. And I will export it in my mods folder. Perfect. So I can start. I already uh, did some research on it, so I I know what I will do. So if I go to my other project, secret project, uh, I can go, you see, to my Guanaco translation. And I have some predefined values. So I can copy this and I can go on my other project create a new script and I will call it uh, Guanaco um, translation data um, maybe just like this yes perfect so now I will make a more clean code because that's not really clean here, this is uh, this file will be the code for the the data of uh, all the traduction, all the translation of every word in uh, with a key and the translation. So the key, if I tip the key uh, into a variable, it will uh, return the traduction from the current system language. So what I will just do is. Here, I will uh, make it. Uh, I have another. Let me check. Up, up, up. Uh, where is it? It's right here. Here. 
here I'm gonna go oh no it's not here where is it uh, logic Where is it? I think it's there. Yes, here. This is my mod data system. So, as you can see, I have a namespace. So what I will do is just copy this namespace. It's my custom namespace. And I will not put saving, but point translation. So it doesn't exist. So I will create a new one. When I go point translation, this is what I will use to include my custom data system transition data system. So first, everything is in the struct, but uh, here I can delete in text. Uh, everything is in the struct, but I can normally add more like. Uh, so this file will have all the translations. So this I don't need to touch, I think. But what I need to do is um, how to do it. Let me check. Uh, I can use uh, maybe I could use like. Header. Uh, how do we create a header? I forgot. I think it was like this. Wait. Uh, I forgot. Let me check. Uh. Okay, it's a header. Let me check. Oh no, I, I, I was right, but why didn't it work? That's weird. It's Normally it's good. Ah, oh, maybe. What? Why doesn't it want to work? Oh, Leah, I'm stupid. Sorry. Um. I wasn't at the good, uh, the good, where is it, here, ah, now it works, so I will just uh, make the header, uh, it's not test, oh, hey, Keltusar, welcome to the stream, making technical thing, so the header is like the title of the part of the inspector, so I will name it like, um, uh, translation data so what it does here is that there is a list of language and language are here within this uh, struct so this is how it looks in the list there is a code like fr uh, a n e n uh, things like this then inside it there is also a list of translation with the original word and the translation of the word so now I can look how it looks in the inspector. If you see, I will create a new object to assign it to it. So, uh, translation data, and I will take my, uh, that is in uh, my modes. Uh, where is it? Uh, I, I will take my script here my data and as you can see I have translation data language I can uh, put like uh, here uh, a n but a n is the default language so you don't need but I can put fr for French in the translation I can put uh, the original like player in French it's joueur and now I will ah bah salut toi <laughs> I will uh, call the translation of player in French and to look in it and it will be joueur so now I can say that I can go on my other project that I have here I need uh, I know maybe not the, the project just the fireworks DLL 
I have a displayer here, but not really a problem. So what I did inside uh, another uh, project is that I really did some tests of it. So what I will do is just uh, create a new void with check language. So it will check for, or uh, maybe I need to also to include text mesh pool. So what it will do is check the language of the text that um, I give it to him. So lang is a string. I will put private string lang and I will put it to an because an is the default language. So if it crash, it will go on en. What I can do next, uh, so everything is okay, I will put that maybe on the start, maybe. Void start. Perfect. So it is just a debug to show the console that I'm loading uh, the language translation. That's not really useful, it's just to me to know. Uh, did you load into a eating that I sent you? Yes, I looked in it. It was uh, really, <laughs> really cool. But uh, that's uh, kind of that's uh, kind of tricky. And so, uh, what I can do? Uh, check language. So I need to check the language of the text. So I need to find the text so I have a little uh, how do we uh, how it doesn't um, let me wait let me think I don't know the word in English for that uh, uh, let me translate it <laughs> uh, by uh, no it's not that I think uh, um, isn't it dummy for like test dummy? Uh, I don't buy tomorrow. Yes, I <laughs> I will do it by tomorrow. That's not possible, but yes, <laughs> not really. So uh, I will take my uh, flat map. Perfect. Yes, I speak very good. Uh, so I will take my test dummy. That is just the game. Because the game is really. Uh, why is it not in full screen? Oh, not a problem. And why is it. Okay. So my test dummy. Let me just put it in full screen because it's ugly. Uh, normally on the stream, I think we see it. Uh, or is it black? I think. Ah, no, okay. We see it. So, uh, now I can uh, take. Uh, not this. But F7, I have a little uh, mod menu. <laughs> That's cool mod menu. So what I can do is I need to check at the start of the game or every time we change language, the language of the game. One way to do it, because uh, it's not implemented in Unity by default, is to take like uh, one random thing like fireworks here. I take this text and then I look into a code to know, compare it with another language. So fireworks, it will uh, take fireworks and it will see that it's English. So the language is English. But if I change it to French, like this, it's food artifice. So it, this is a way to find uh, the language that uh, the system is using. So what I can do is search for the best thing to search. Uh, like uh, I think the best thing is to use the this button because this button won't change. I think in the future, or maybe a little bit, but I can still uh, we're seeing it. So I need to find this button. What I can do is Y game Y canvas. If I disable it, you see that it is. Uh, this is not this. Notice, notice, it's menu. In the view menu, button panel, title, no. Resume, this is the Y button. 
So, what I can use is just, I need to search for this button. Uh, to find it, I could just maybe take the name of the button. That's a great idea. So I will copy this name, go inside my uh, thing here. I will just uh, maybe, let me save it here. Now I will go in my other code that I test. Uh, I need to find the, this button. So what I will do is do a for each. Okay. Uh, I will create a new void maybe, or put it in the start. Could be fine. Here. Hop. A for each is uh, that something that uh, does it. Um, a certain amount of time. So it will search in all game objects of the scene for a game object that have the name that I will uh, give it. So the name is button resume. Because the name won't change even if it's in French as you seen. So that's not a problem. It will search for it and then uh, maybe I will just delete this, put it at the end, the end, and here, found the uh, we fit print button. So if it works, it normally should uh, say this in the console. Maybe I could change the color, but I will maybe do it later. So what I will do is go here, create, uh, so I take this, put it here, create a fireworks mania definition startup prefab. Uh, it will be a test uh, translation thing. Perfect. Perf oh, perfect. So I take my translation and sort of order I can let it like this. And now I will build my mod. Yes, I know it's kind of difficult because there is a lot of coding, but it works. And not, I don't think it's that much complex. Maybe for someone that really doesn't know, but yes, maybe it's complex. <laughs> yes, I, I'm accurate with it, so maybe I need to delete this Simpson. Uh, I will put it back later. Uh, so, I will just di disable some mods from the workshop because I have too much mods. I think. Uh, why is it doing this? Oh, oh okay. So, I have a lot of fireworks and it is uh, disabled. And uh, now it's done. So, does it work? Uh, ah, yes. Look, found reference button. Yes, it, it loads the uh, EN translation because I didn't implement the search for the thing but it found the button so now what i can do is i will search for this oh uh ah yes for the button here 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 uh, here and I resume and as you can see if i click on the button there is no text but the text is inside the button yes it's a label so what i can do is uh, where is it? Uh, it's not this one, I think. This one, yes. I, what I can do is check language. But inside, I need to give a text. So the thing that I need to do is... Um, first, I will just create um, pri private... Private uh, game objects. Uh, we fit right the button. So, 
So, I will put the reference button. Uh, and I need to transform jet shield zero point game object. So let me explain quickly. Ah no, uh, point jet components uh, text mesh pro o g y. So let me explain you quickly what is it for. So check language is to it takes the text that I give it inside here. I will explain you why. And it switch to uh, look is if it's French, uh, if it's uh, Dutch, I think, or German, German, sorry, sorry, uh, Dutch, or uh, it's just a test, huh? or uh, Spanish, and it default is English. Um, and in it, there is the reference button that I need to uh, put it to the go. And transform jchill 0 uh, get component uh, text mesh pro because inside the game, as you can see, there is a button, and his third child, so the zero, is the label, and the label has a text mesh pro, and this text mesh pro has inside the text resume because it's resu oh shit I did something yes it's resume. Uh, man, I did not expect Amnesty to put summer creation, but uh, yes, Amnesty is too crazy for that. Too crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy guy. Uh, <laughs> every, yeah, I think for the uh, uh, the entire summer he will uh, put a new mod <laughs> every day, <laughs> probably. But I will try to be more active because I have one exam uh, st um, remaining. One exam. So. I need to check the language, so I need the reference button is go because go is uh, the game object that has this name, so I make a loop, but that's fine. And then it loads the language translation. Uh, what I need to do also is um, in the update, I want uh, let me explain after. So what I want is that uh, the language uh, being detected every time I change the language. And the easiest way to do that is just to if uh, input point uh, jet uh, button no no shit key down input point uh, input uh, no, no key code sorry key code point uh, escape it will check language but I need to uh, take the this so every time I will press escape it will uh, check the language again that's a way to do it because if I go, hey Bartek, how are you? If I go here and change the the language to French, I will need to put no, maybe not escape because you can also press here. Uh, what I can do is escape or tab. Yes, escape or tab. So or is like this. I'm fine, yes, uh, I'm fine too. I just got an exam today. And it was, uh, was easy. Uh, so, escape or uh, tab. Uh, no, what I can do is uh, try to see if it works. But normally I need to... I will put a debug. and uh, disable this one. So I can try. Let's build it. So today, um, Bartek, if you didn't see, uh, I'm making a translation mode. 
not a mod, but something that will uh, help my mod to translate in multiple languages. So, I restart. And now, normally, if I press escape, you can see, uh, yes, uh, if uh, the console wants to work. Uh, loading a N because I mean the French. That's weird, why is it? Okay, uh, no. Ah, no, sorry. I did a big mistake. Try to find what is the mistake. mistake. Uh, not here. Here. <laughs> The mistake is here. It tries to check the language, but but the the <laughs> the um, reference are not correct. It's not the same text. I need to change it because I was using another uh, button before. So in English uh, it doesn't change, but in French it's uh, I think reprendre. Yes. Uh, let me check. I will take one uh, minute so, uh, to check the localization. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Where is it? So, if I uh, take in no another uh, uh, language. Uh, reprendre. It's in French, but in other. Ah, in German it's. Okay, in German it's. Weiser. And in. Uh, Spanish it's. Continuar. And in uh, Dutch, it's Hervaten. Oh, oops. Hervater. So, normally now I will be able to... Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, the car was definitely the most impressive thing you ever... <laughs> yes. Uh, with the fireworks, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Um, yes, uh, and the, I, f I feel like the better graphics mod and the um, custom lighter mod was also really good uh, uh, because it was really complex to do. And when the one day I don't have a uh, specific uh, date, but when one day the multiplayer wit will get out, I will put those mods first in multiplayer. The better graphics mod technically is already multiplayer ready. Uh, but yes, uh, making uh, every big mod uh, multiplayer compatible will be hard, but possible, and uh, I will do it. For sure, that's for sure. Um, so, now I have put the good values and I can build my mod again. Uh, where is it? Tab or escape, that looks like it's good. So let's try. If I press escape, uh, you see, it's loading a French translation. So that's working. It recognizes that it's French. It's French. And it's white. So what I can do is change it to like uh, English. English. Wow. Impressive, no? No, I can change it to uh, Dutch. Oh, it's Dutch. Incredible! Uh, where was uh, I can read Dutch shit? No, it wasn't that shit. <laughs> uh, no, I click again. Uh, this one? Yes. So now I can change it to, uh, I don't know, uh, Spanish? 
Oh, it's Spanish. Incredible. What I can do also is... Uh, uh, German. That's for you, Keltusar. And you can see it's German. Yes, everything is working fine. Oh, I click again this button. Why this button? Uh, let's uh, put in French back because that's kind of boring. French! Uh, just maybe I will just uh, fix one thing. Uh, I need to put delay because else it will make some big problems. Are you German too? No, I'm not German. This is why I can't read uh, the buttons. I, I risk clicking the, the bad one. Uh, but I think uh, uh, I think uh, Ketsar is German. There. Ah, that's problematic. No, I, I, I won't. Uh, I, I will let it like this. I will change it later because else it will give me some trouble. <laughs> yes, a big French accent. That's <laughs> yes, <laughs> one hundred percent accord with you. <laughs> so this I can uh, hide it because it's boring. So now what I can do is just uh, try to change something uh, like text. I will put so create inside hits. I will recreate a new uh, UI. So I will take a canvas, uh, put it to the screen size, uh, but uh, giving it a uh, uh, one thousand. When, uh, 80p resolution for the reference and I will create inside it uh, in 2D please a panel or not maybe not a panel just a text text mesh pool that's important because for now I will just take some text mesh pool uh, else it will give some trouble so I will just place it like this That's okay. Uh, this text I will name it like um, player. That's perfect. Pl player. Uh, and this text will have some. I think I could. Uh, no, I will just let it like this. So what I will do is go inside my project here, inside my code, and create a new header. make some space so I will put it um, translate so uh, auto translator because I will explain I want uh, this script to be able to translate by is itself some text but I want also my mod scripts to access this script to um, manually translate some words inside some tricky text that are not text mesh pro and some like buttons or things like this. But I want an auto translator because I don't want to create a, a script for every every mode that uh, will translate every text. That's horrible. So what I will do is auto translator a bool enable uh, e Enable auto translator and I will put it to false by default, but I will check it to be true. Uh, and I need to public it, yes. Now, 
what I can do is create a new list, public list of text mesh pro UGI. Uh. Ah, yes, sorry. Uh, and I will name it like um, uh, um, text text yes text uh, to translate yes that could be fine so now if I go here I have auto translator I have auto enabled auto translator so I will check this and I have some text to translate a text that I could use is this text the player text it's this one and it's this one so I have put it in my uh, auto, uh, uh, text to translate. Uh, is there one is having cake? I'm hoping maybe for Oh, that could be a great idea. There is too so much uh, fireworks still to ma make. There is an uh, infinite amount of uh, of uh, <laughs> fireworks. I think technically you could invent, uh, imagine some new one. So yes, it could be fun. Um, hi, Frankie Boy K1, comma, no, not comma, uh, minus uh, Roblox. <laughs> not easy to say. So, text to translate. Uh, oh, uh, I like, I like. Uh, list of text message pro. What I will do is create a function void translate with uh, inside the string text and I will put it to public because I want other scripts to also do that. I will also put this one in public. Can be fun. Uh, no, what I can do is just, um, after I will translate it, but first I need to, uh, public, no, not public, uh, private void auto translator and inside, inside the update I will put a if uh, enable auto translator then it goes here it will do the run the auto translator so uh, what I can do is um, ah maybe not no, not here not here sorry I made mistake not here it's here I need to <laughs> when it's inside the, when it's updated uh, and also in the start check language uh, maybe I could just uh, delete it and put it inside the check language so what I can do uh, get to sign <laughs> get to sign you have a message uh, so for which uh, um, text mesh pro UGI text to translate uh, no no not text to translate uh, text inside uh, in oops in text to translate what what did I do <laughs> okay no, I will in the auto. So if it's enabled after the check language, if uh, the auto translator is enabled, it will go inside the auto translator. Inside the auto translator, it will for each uh, text uh, mesh pro inside the text text to translate that it's uh, the list uh, here, the text to translate lead, list. Uh, um, I will put the text. So the text that it's uh, choosing uh, equals uh, no no uh, 
Oh yes. Equals. Uh, non, non, not text, not text point text. Yes, yeah, yeah that's uh, confusing, but it's the text of the text mesh pool because this is a text mesh pool and this is the text of the. T oh, that's a very confusing. Uh, so the text equals the translate. So the translation. Uh, where is it? Yes, translate. Um. Uh, the um, not sure. Uh, oh no, I forgot something. Yes, I need to check if the translation exists, else it will uh, just crash. I did something like this uh, inside my uh, translation here, so I will just copy it. Oh, I copy the entire uh, thing. Cool. So, I will just change it. Uh, yes, uh, it's a string because uh, yes, I forgot to put that, but that's not really a problem. It's because it returns the. It's not a, a void function. It returns the string. So uh, I can delete this. Uh, I will just maybe put it uh, lower because that's confusing me. Ah, uh, so I will put it here. Uh, you're gonna need some shit cake for these guy lines. I don't know me. So if it's uh, if it's a uh, en, it will just return the text. But for each, uh, I forgot to. Uh, ah, yes, it's my other old. Mm, let me check. Uh, translation file. For each, just language. In language. For each, translation in translation. So, yes, that's um, how to explain you because that's kind of hard. Not so hard for me, but for you, it can be confusing. So, what it will do is look inside the every language. So. If he, uh, F here, uh, E, F, E, E, N, uh, thing like this, not the E, N because it's the default. Uh, it will look in it if the language code is uh, the current language uh, uh, code. It will just need to delete this. It will do another for which inside uh, this uh, translation, the LG is named like this. It will look for the traduction. If the original equals the text, it will return the translations. Else, it will just return the text. So that's uh, my function. Uh, translate. I need to put the text point text. So in fact, that uh, can be confusing. The text point text equals the translation of text point text. So in fact. Uh, is in easy way player the text of player equals the translation of player because <laughs> yes that's confusing i know uh, because uh, the translation uh, translation of player is just um, it will just look inside the translation for it so that's uh, all technically for the translate function i think maybe i will uh, add more things to it later so uh, now I need to test uh, the translator. Okay, let's try and I did I just yes. Okay, let's try. I think it's okay like this. Building the mod. So is it uh, hard, guys? Hard to uh, to understand. Ah, yeah, look, the player became joueur, because in French, player is joueur. But uh, I don't think I have other, if I put it in English, ah, uh, it doesn't work, because I'm stupid. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. Let me check. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, that's problematic. 
yes, I know why it doesn't, uh, because I'm asking the translation of joueur, and that's uh, not possible. So, what I will do is just, uh, it's not the translation of the text, where is it? Uh, it's, it's the one, yes, here. I won't use the text translation, I will use just the text point name. What I need to do is I need to name, uh, what is it? Ah. I need to name this with player. And now it will work. Because it will search for the name and not the, yes, uh, it's complex. But uh, I could do uh, some tricky thing to put a better way, but that's kind of hard. So what I will do is add also uh, Spanish. Uh, is uh, no, say, uh, I forgot the code for Spanish. I think it's uh, S. Yes. Uh, S. I need also to put Dutch, uh, German, and Dutch. So, so in French, player, joueur. That's okay. In Espanol, uh, Sp oh, in uh, uh, Spanish. Uh, let me tr translate it because I don't have. Uh, uh, let me check. Uh, Spanish. It's Spanish. I think it's. Uh, so okay in uh, in German I'm using Google translation so that's not uh, perfect I think but it's just to test uh, so German it's Spieler and in Dutch It's Speller. Mm. Let's try now. I save, I build. Oh, my map. <laughs> so, it's English. It says Player. Now I put it, uh, let me, oh, the Y is still, uh, okay, so I will put it in uh, French, it's joueur, perfect, now I will put it in uh, German, Spieler, now I put it in uh, um, Spanish? Jugador. Perfect. Now we put it uh, in. Uh, I think I did everything. German. Spieler. Yes, I did. Okay. But uh, Dutch. I did it Dutch. Spieler. Okay. So everything works. I will put it back in French. So my translation works really well. That's fine. No? <laughs> uh, what I need to fix is uh, one bug is that, uh, as you see, if um, I go to English, I press escape one time, it doesn't update. I need to press it two times. Uh, so I think I could fix that by uh, putting an uh, enumerator and a little delay. It's because uh, it's uh, too quick for the game to update. So let's fix that. Uh, how to fix that? Um, maybe if I put in uh, in a matter. Uh, 
Wait for no for I will put like a little D like point two if I think Maybe it could work. Uh, um, let's try. So, uh, start. The thing that's changed with the emitter is that, is that you can't call it like this. You need to start a quarantine. Spear. Uh, what? I didn't understand. Not gonna spiller. Uh, not gonna. Yeah, to me, spiller sounds like it would be shaman worse for spear. Uh, I don't really know. I I will maybe uh, ask uh, the community to translate uh, my words if they want. But uh, yes, I could ask ChatGPT. I think ChatGPT is good at translation, technically. I think. So I need to cheat that. <laughs> Where we gonna go say is it? <laughs> yes. No, nah, nah. Uh, maybe I could fix that too later. So normally I think now it's fixed. Because I put a little delay so the game has more time to uh, update itself. Let's try. So it's building the mode in background. And now if I restart. So it's English. Yes, so that's normal. Uh, this UI is really laggy. That's boring. But if I put French, I press one time escape and now we did this. So fixed. Okay. No, I wanna try to open, change it to English, but don't uh, press the escape. So if I press tab to open the menu, it does it too. So that's a uh, fix, uh, and I can normally go back here. So it's um, it's in my oh, this one. It's in my class from Guanaco translation. Uh, what I need to do now is that I have multiple language. So I think that's uh, kind of good for it. In fact. Uh, I think that's um, that's a big, a major uh, advancement on it. Um, so this was auto translator, uh, French, Spanish, and okay. Mm, so I think this is kind of it, but not it yet, because I this script, how is um, mod uh, mod tools made? Is that I need to move this script inside the current mod build uh, uh, folder. So one way to do it, I found that's easy. Not e yes, not easy, but kind of cool. Is that I have Gonaco tools and I can move that script. Now what I will do is. Uh, go back to my assets, Guanaco, and there is uh, my move data script. What I will do is add a new menu item. Guanaco move uh, translation script and move. Okay, so when I will press uh, the move translation script, it will move it, so it will search for the current uh, 
path, well, yes, this is too complex to explain you because uh, that's uh, kinda hard, but in fact, it's a text. this is uh, the um, folder that I right clicked into, uh, then it will uh, ch search for the, the script that's named like this, so it's this in uh, assets, then uh, it will search for it, uh, okay. I think it was this, so mod data system, uh, friend assets, uh, assets, like zero. Okay, so it search for it, search for it, um, and now this. So normally, if I do save this, it's done, I should be able to right click Guanaco Tools. And uh, when I go tools and move translation script. Up, oh, look, something appears. And it's Guanaco translation data. That's just got moved. The utility of this script is that um, if I go anywhere, uh, I don't need to copy it, uh, things like this. I can go, like, uh, if you go to my mods, uh, the translation. You see, it disappeared, but I can put it back by doing when I go tools, move translation, and hop, it's there. So if I have a mod to update, I can just do this, right click, and it will move it, and then I, could, I can build. So that's easy. I can do the same for my uh, data script that I already done for uh, saving things, like uh, my, uh, my uh, better graphics mod here, you can see. Uh, it has a data script that is here, and this is my data, sc my data script. It's, it looks like a bit like uh, the new uh, translation script, but uh, that's fine. So what I can do now is that uh, normally, normally it's kind of down. I think there is nothing else to really uh, implement more. I think. So, yes, that's, uh, uh, let me check, why is it like this, okay, it's because I move it, it disappeared from my, uh, my Visual Studio, so translation, I can erase it, translation data, uh, auto translator, okay, that's fine, 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 fine. Okay, so this is okay. So, what I can do now is try to implement it into a basic mode, I think, probably. So, let's which mode can I, can I implement it? Mm -hmm. uh, not too complex because um, that's not. Um, Can we implement it? Not better graphics mode for now because it's kinda complex. I need to do it when I have more time. But maybe in Guanaco Helium mode, inside uh, my prefabs, props, I have uh, my detonator. Uh, that is uh, my uh, remote detonator here. Uh, let's try to make it translation on it. That's a great idea, no? Uh, here is the text, that's a problem because I need to put uh, some... Uh, what is it? Text Mesh Pro. Because Text Mesh Pro is, is uh, new. Well, text is uh, a bit uh, obsolete, obsolete. So I will uh, put some Text Mesh Pro. I need to copy here and paste the component values so uh, minus is the 6 and max is I think 20 could be great uh, Okay, so 
I will put it like this, like this, and uh, on my text, it's launch combine menu. So I can disable this text uh, for now, uh, and I can. Uh, why is it like this? Okay. <sighs> Uh, just maybe I need to not 15, maybe 20 and 20. Okay. So launch can buy menu. Inside the button uh, text. Okay. Uh, okay is in French. Uh, I think OK is universal, no? OK still uh, every time is the same, I think. No? Mm. If I press. Yes, I think in every uh, language it's OK. So I can let it like this, in fact. But inside the launch uh, button, I need to uh, change. Ah, so. Uh, let's copy this. Paste here. Set key, but I need to lower it a bit because it has a kind of kind of big. Maybe a bit more like this. I think that's fine. Looks okay. Uh, maybe I could just put ten, 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 ten. Uh, okay. So if I change uh, like uh, it will resize it. Yes, but uh, if, <laughs> if there is too much, it is too much. Uh, now what I need to change is that in my remote prop detonator, I need to add a Guanaco translation data. So I will add uh, French, for example, FR translation. I will add uh, uh, the launch can buy menu. So let's add it, and I will. Uh, it's a menu. The menu. Uh, okay, let me tell it. Uh, let me try. Uh, no, no. Uh, how can I explain this in French? Menu. That's fine. Raccourci de lancement. So, no, what I can do is go to set key, uh, copy it. Set key. Uh, a new translation. Set key is. Uh, um, 
changer la Yeah, that's fine. So what I can do is go here. So the only thing to transcend is this, this and also I think there is, uh, if I go to my prop, uh, it's right here. Um, there is a button, I think. Uh, I don't remember how I made this script. Let me check. So. Oh, I need to clean everything. That's illegible. So, what it does is that it has launched 200 keys. Then the screen permit. Okay. What is screen text? I uh, guess there is also another thing. Yes, I, I, I see. Okay, I need to translate more, but okay. Uh, Okay, I see. So, um, I need to include uh, my uh, using Guanaco point translation. So it will include my script. And what I need to do is translate this. Uh, oops, sorry, I did a mistake. First, I need to. Uh, where is it? Include a public uh, Guana Co translation data translation data. So what I need to do is to set the text Oops, did I forgot something? Yes Perfect. Now it's fixed. Uh, so it will translate the set key. Uh, normally now it must work. Um, Okay, so this works. Uh, 
Okay, so it will translate for the set key, but I need to translate also armored. Uh, translate armored and disarmed. And I think there is another one. Uh, yes, I have also press a key. Ah, there is a lot. Press a key. And... Launching. There is a few words to translate. So, armed is... Armed. is uh. okay so this is my French translation And also here. So I translate everything. Okay. So now what I can do is Ah yes I forgot something. Screen text. Ah, it's already a text mesh pool. But there is text. M text. What is M text? Okay, it's this text, but I need to change it to text mesh pool. Because now it's a text mesh pool. So let's try maybe. So I need just to move my script, my Guanaco tools, move translation, else it won't build uh, with it. And also I need to fix one thing, um, is that um, there is still one text that didn't, doesn't translate, is this auto translator on, and I put the uh, title, what is it? This one. And now it will be translated. Wow. 
warnings three times okay so now I can win Oh wait, I forgot something, I think. Oh shit, I forgot something. I forgot to uh, reference my script. Oh, I need to rebuild it. Faster, 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 faster. So, no, he look, I forgot to reference my. Transition data. So now I can build it. Now it will technically work. I will put my game in French. Ok, so we start. Alien mode. And now, if I go to. Oh. My detonator. Yes, it's not translated, but it is here. Uh, if I press E, Arme. Ok. So I need to translate. Uh, Okay, so uh, I need to, dis to translate this. So normally it should work, but if I change my uh, to English, normally, uh, yes, if you can see it changed here, but press a key, E. So this works, it translates in English. Uh, just it doesn't. Uh, okay, there is a bug. Uh, that's not fine. It's armed, but I can't change anything. Okay, I see. That's a problem. Uh, I, can't, I can't even... Uh. a bug
There is a bug, but why? Okay, so it doesn't work for weird reasons. Let me check again. So I press K. I press K again. It's working. Uh, okay. So it's working, but it just doesn't. Tell when it's okay, okay. Why isn't it working? So What is current key? Okay. Maybe because it's doing this. Why is it doing this? Um, I think if I do this, it should be fixed. But why is it, was it doing this? Because it's one game. GY, uh, the green key, key got two string. Okay, maybe it's fixed. I need to clean this code one, one day.
So let's restart. And normally it must work normally. Um, doesn't work for weird reasons. Still doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? I think this is the problem because I don't know why it looks like it doesn't work we even even current if he is why the, does it do that? So, and why is this weird? change that because it looks like it's a unity bug so I will put it in the date uh, else oh no else we do that normally if the menu is open it should Okay, let's try to rebuild. I don't know why it was doing this, but uh, looks like uh, mm, weird. Uh, so. Why is it staying disarmed? I, I think it was... That's real. Okay, so... Still not. It still does the same thing. Okay, it's a bug with... Uh, I will fix it later, but... Yes, you see it. It uh, translates. So... I will take that as a success. And I think I will stop the stream here. For today. Was kind of a big stream with a big scripts. So... I will stay for this for today. See you next time guys.